A letter a day to number 10, Thursday the 6th of December 2012. Dear Mr Cameron, Someone's got to say it. Osborne's autumn statement. In winter, by the way. Autumn is that season which heralds a blaze of colour whilst the leaves are still on the trees. Trees are woody things. They have leaves some of the time, not in winter. Is an archaleptic's wet dream of being asleep on the job. Robbing the poor, again, yet still announcing austerity, will be with us until 2018, is surely a hint that the means, the wealth, the ability to pay might just lie somewhere else. I watched the part on the BBC where he announced he'd scrapped the 3p rise on fuel tax and the house rapturously erupted. God in heaven, I thought it was the second coming. Those on benefits will lose 3.7 billion. That was the big news that those of us on Ground Zero were waiting for. The real beneficiaries of the swinging punishments of austerity and the people expected to pay for the crimes that gave rise to it are those with the least ability to meet it in any sense, form, reason or reality. In a country where some small semblance of free speech remains, it must be said there is a mendacious fool in charge of the economy, a bleak assessment, but the austerity of his mind is a thing most wondrous to behold. Keith.